Katie Allman reporting for Katie Chats at the Performing Arts Lodge in downtown Toronto. I'm here with Robert Lowry of Robert Lowry's Canada's Piano Store. What was the best part about being involved in tonight's festivities? I, I think the best part was how talented and how enthusiastic everybody who performed was and and how exciting it was to be here in a building with entertainers who keep their joie de vivre uh -huh. and 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 still have their chops so it was just a great night and and to facilitate it in a way getting the piano here was was uh, exhilarating and and I'm uh, I would love to do it again and again. And tell me a little bit about how you got in contact with Louise and with Dan Lyon and made this whole thing happen. Well, there is rarely a, a week that we're not doing something with the arts. We support groups like Gilda's Club and, and, and oh my goodness. So Louise was doing a show and needed um, <clears throat> a piano. And and everybody needs a piano okay. at some time, and and pianos are expensive, even to move and to rent. So, as often as we can, we do things to provide pianos as inexpensively as possible. And uh, and because I've been in the business so long, Louise and I, our circles have gone around each other, but we'd never met, and um, and we got to know each other really well, really quickly. And and she said, I happen to be moving, and and just prior. To that, uh, Pal, who we supported in a couple of benefits before, had approached me looking for a grand piano and, of course, having no money. And Louise said, I'm moving and I have this big piano. And something clicked in my mind and I said, well, maybe this can all work out. So it wasn't the greatest business deal, but it was a great deal in the amount of joy that it created and spread around. And uh, it all culminated in this evening, and and just think, it's this piano is a piano. Is the best analogy for how a piano lives is uh, to compare it to our own lives. Um, piano ages over a human-like lifespan, so it's a 15 or 20-year-old piano. So it's a very young, youthful piano, and it'll be here for many, many years, and it will gradually get old, but it will keep playing. I'll even keep playing, um, perhaps like the previous piano did when it wasn't at its best. But but it's uh, it's far from uh, an ephemeral thing. It's a long-lasting, great gift. So I I know that I've been a part of something terrific, and uh, and and being supportive of the arts has been something that we've always done and really enjoyed. And being in business for years and years, and having Canada's largest section of pianos. Sometimes I think business can be difficult, but giving back to the community like this, what kind of feeling does that get? Does that give you, and how does that fulfill you? Frankly, it it really makes it all worthwhile. It's uh, the piano business has been tough. You know, every in the 1890s, piano makers were uh, were fretting one year that 10 million bicycles sold, and they said if people are riding bicycles, they won't be playing the piano. And every generation has brought competition for the piano, and and you see kids at computers and keyboards. And uh, we have a very big piano store, and it's as likely that one of our customers in the showroom will be from North Bay as they are from North York, because there aren't piano stores everywhere. And and um, and the business side of it is is often hard, but but every week. Um, we're doing um, the Toronto General Hospital fundraiser on Friday. We're doing the Business in the Arts show next week. We're doing, uh, uh, I mean, every week we're doing something to support the arts. And and those are all nice, but, but this is special. I mean, people who have dedicated their life to performing, entertaining people, and, and that this great piano, when I came down to this room and I said, my God, it's a big room and it's kind of a quiet room, they need a big piano and a big piano costs forty or fifty or sixty thousand dollars and they had no budget, 
And then Louise came along and was so generous and excited. Uh, this is a very, very special kind of uh, event and a very, so it, it makes it worthwhile. My poor uh, young dog had an operation today and I've been worried about it all day. I thought, oh, my poor dog, I'm worried about it. And, and, uh, and, uh, and then uh, coming here made me forget it. Well, Not for too long, okay. but for <laughs> Well, thank you so much. I hope your dog is okay, but congratulations on being so generous and helping to put this together, and best of luck with in the piano business in years to come. Well, we've endured for a long time, and we will, I'm sure, for a long time yet. Thank, thank you. you. I'm Katie Allman, reporting for Katie Chats at PAL in downtown Toronto. Keep this evening going. Thank you so much for coming.